In 9-2, we're going to be converting easy fractions to decimals and percents. The objective is to reinforce renaming fourths, fifths, and tenths as decimals and percents, and to introduce solving percent problems by using equivalent fractions. Let's do some mental math and reflexes first. Let's go over this again just for extra practice. 36 hundredths, how is that written as a decimal and as a percent sign? Correct, 0 0.36 and 36 percent. 87 hundredths, very good, 0 0.87 and 87 percent. 19 hundredths, 0 0.19 or 19 percent. 3 tenths, remember we're in the tenth spot now. So 0 0.3 or 30 percent, one half, 0 0.5 or 50 percent, four fifths. Now remember if one fifth is 20 percent or 0.2, then we have to do that four times to get four fifths, so 0 0.8 or 80 percent. Seven twentieths. 0 0.35 or 35 percent. 3 25ths, 0 0.12 or 12 percent. And 14 seconds, 7 and 700 percent. Notice 7 is written 7.0. Get out your math journal and turn to page 252. Alfred, Nadine, Kyla, and Jackson each took the same math test. There were 20 problems on the test. Alfred missed half of the problems, so he missed about 0 0.50 of the problems, and that is 50% of the problems. So how many problems did he miss? Well, you have to make sure you're looking at the 100% is a 20 problem test. So how many problems did he miss? Well, if he missed half of them, he missed half of 20, which is 10. So half of 20, again, 10. So 50% of 20 is 10. So if you look at half or 50% is shaded. It's easy to rename a fraction as a percent when the denominator is 100. For example, another name for 32 hundredths is 32 percent. But there are other fractions such as a half, a fourth, a fifth, and a tenth that can be renamed as percents, percents fairly easily. Knowing such equivalencies often makes percent problems easier to solve. So in problem one, Alfred missed 50 percent of 20 problems. You had to find how many problems he missed so you needed to think of 50% as half, and half of 20, of course, we said is 10. Some students, or some of you may reason that half of the 10 by 10 grid is shaded. That is 50 small squares, or 50 out of 100, or 0 0.50, or 50% of the 10 by 10 grid. So 50% of 20 is the same as half of 20, which we said was, 20, was 10. So the whole is the 20 problem test, 100% of the grid is represented. The whole test is represented by the 10 by 10 grid. It's divided into 20 equal parts or rectangles and each represents one problem on the test. So the 10 by 10 grid is also divided into 100 small squares. Each small square is 1 one hundredth or 1% 1 of the 10 by 10 grid. Finding equivalent names for other easy fractions. Math Journal, page 253. On this page, you're going to find that you're going to have to fill in the missing numbers, and problem one has been done for you. It's always a good idea to look at that problem because it's going to help you with all your other problems. So it's showing you that three fourths is shaded. You can see that only one-fourth is not shaded, and I'm outlining it here with red. Sorry, my lines are not perfect. So three-fourths is shaded. That is 0 0.75 or 75% is shaded. All right, 
So make sure, here's another little way you can figure out your answers if there's a numerator missing. How did the denominator all of a sudden become 100? Well, we know that in order for 4 to become 100, we'd have to multiply that 4 by the number 25. So what does 3 times 25 equal? And remember, I'd write it and I draw my lines because that way you make sure you're writing the right number. There's a 20 times 25 up here and there was a times 25 here. So what was 3 times 25? 75. So that's how we got our 75 hundredths written here as 75 hundredths then written as the 75 percent. So again, different ways of showing fractions. So you want to ask yourself, how could maybe 5 become 100? Well, I could times it by 20. Again, look at what I'm doing. I'm writing it times 20. So I know once I figure out this next part, I'm at the times that also by 20. So if we're dividing that into five sections, I gotta look. Well, this is one section, this is two, this is three, this is four, and this is five. So there are my five sections. So how many sections are colored in? Well, here's one section, and here's another section for two. So two out of five is shaded. Two times 20 is 40, so 40 hundredths is shaded. How do I write that? 0 0.40, and what does that become as a percent? 40%. Go ahead and finish this page and then go into your math journal and correct it at the front of the room. Completing the table of equivalent names for fractions. So again, you're back into your math journal on pages 252 and 253. Names for fractions on journal pages 342 and 343. And you're going to want to check your answers against the chart on the inside front cover of your journal. So if you're looking, half is equivalent to 0 decimal point five zero or 50 percent. A fourth, now you can think of this, and this helps a lot of students, is think of this as a dollar. So if you have half of a dollar, you have 50 cents, which is written 0 0.50, which is 50 percent of that dollar. If you got a fourth of a dollar, well, four of what makes a dollar? Right, a quarter. A quarter's worth 0 0.25, or 25 percent of that dollar. Three-fourths. Now this is just three of the one-fourths that we have just done up here. So if I add 25 cents three times, I would get 75 cents, or 75 percent of a dollar. A fifth of a dollar would be 20 cents, written 0 0.20, or 20 percent of that dollar. Two-fifths is simply one-fifth added twice, so 0 0.40 or 40 percent of that dollar. Three-fifths and four-fifths, same thing. I, I On the three-fifths, I added it three times for 0 0.60 or 60 percent of the dollar. Four-fifths, I added the one-fifth four times, which is 0 0.80 or 80 percent of that dollar. A tenth of a dollar is a dime, and that dime is written as a 0 0.10, or it's 10 percent of a dollar, because it takes 10 of those to equal 100 percent. Three-tenths, just that one-tenth added three times, 0 0.30 or 30 percent of a dollar. Seven-tenths, 0 0.70 or 70 percent of a dollar. And nine-tenths, 0 0.90 or 90 percent of the dollar. Turn to Math Box, page 254, and you're going to do that page and then go up and correct it in your math journal answer key. Don't forget, go to your SRB if you're strugg struggling with any of those concepts first. If you don't understand it after that, come back to me. And the final thing you're going to do in, for 9-2 is you're going to do the study link. Be sure to look at what the whole is and do the practice on the bottom.